Hi, this is Will Cooper with SharePoint Smart. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how you can add SharePoint list item buttons. We're gonna be talking about three buttons that are really useful. The edit button, view button, and document thumbnail. I'm gonna show you how to set these up. It's really fast and easy to do, and it's something that you can use a lot. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is the way SharePoint used to be. This is a classic view I have pulled up, and we used to have this nice little edit button, and people use that a lot, and when you click on the edit button, it would take you right to the edit form. Um, so that's classic SharePoint. Um, of course, things are much different now. Um, so let me switch over to a modern view, and uh, what I'm going to do is start out uh, with a couple of things. I made two columns. Uh, we can call them whatever we want. I just called them action and action two. Those are just simple text fields. And that's where I'm going to put in my special column formatting. I've already got that ready to go. Um, so I'm just going to go to my file and do a little copy paste action. All right, so here's my edit button. Uh, don't get freaked out by the code. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, all you got to do is copy and paste. Uh, so let me grab that. I'll go back to the browser. And when you go to the modern list view, you go to the um, drop down menu. And there's an option in there that we want uh, that's going to set this up. It's called format this column. Now by default, it shows you some simple rules that you can take advantage uh, we're going to be doing custom, so what you want to do is click on the advanced mode link. And in this window, there's a code editor, and that's where you're going to paste in your special code. This is JSON formatted code. Okay, all I did is just copy and paste into that. I just hit save. And there we go. We have edit buttons. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do the one for view button, which I'm going to put in action 2. So let me go and grab that also. You can see this is nearly identical. Um, there's only a, some very minor differences about that, um, but you'll see exactly how that works in just one second. Same thing as before, column settings, format this column, advanced mode, and then I just copy and paste into that, hit save, now these columns are a little different than our other columns. They're just uh, placeholder boxes, if you will, just to hold our buttons. Now, once I have that in there, hopefully you know what that's gonna do. For, notice also we have a nice little hover effect. We have a lighter color when it hovers. It's got a little icon. We've got a uh, pencil for edit and magnifying glass for view. And um, as you might expect, when I click edit, it opens up the uh, edit form. Uh, using the modern experience. Um, if I click on view, instead that shows me view form. Um, so just a nice handy thing that you can add. Let's go back to the code for a second. Let me just talk about what that is and how it works. Um, for a lot of you, you don't necessarily have to really mess around with that. You can reuse it. I'm going to link um, both uh, these two buttons, the code and the uh, comments on the video. So you can just go and grab it from there. Um, but basically the idea is we tell it what to do. Um, there's a custom row action called edit properties uh, for view. Um, you just use uh, something called default click. That's what tells it which forms to open up. And, and the rest of it all is just uh, formatting. We've got some class names referenced and um, some things that help, you know, give it the curve border, hover effect, um, padding, stuff like that. Generally speaking, it's not anything that you have to mess with, but if you want to and you're interested, um, you can change how those buttons look a little bit. If you want a slightly different color, um, if you want the uh, label to be different, that type of thing. That's really all there is to it um, as far as that code. Okay, so that's how the code works. We've got those set. So now we can go ahead and move on to the next thing. 
Okay, so next thing I want to do is document thumbnail. Just like before, I just added a column as a placeholder, if you will, to uh, hold my JSON code. So uh, here we go. In this case, it's default click, um, but we're going to do something. We're going to show something special that SharePoint stores automatically as part of its process whenever you upload an image or a file. And I can reference to that. Uh, SharePoint automatically stores a thumbnail image and that's generated at the time that file is created. Uh, so just like before, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to go to column settings, format this column, advanced, and just simple copy and paste. There you go. So this is different. This actually has, um, you know, a thumbnail image based on whatever it's loaded. What's cool is this works for all types of files. So it gives me a thumbnail preview of documents, PowerPoint, Excel, um, but also uh, image files and that type of thing. And when I click on it, um, it's just going to open that. So if it's an image file, um, I can click on that. You know, it opens right to the image. Or if I click on, you know, the Excel or PowerPoint, it'll, it'll just open that file up. Just as an example, I'm going to load another file in there just so we can take a look. Um, so I have this other file I got because donuts are awesome. And so we're going to load donuts in there. It's uploading. And like I say, there's a background process that runs and it generates the um, thumbnail image for us. There's donuts, there's their thumbnail image. Um, so just a nice way to dress up the um, appearance of things. Again, something that's very reusable. You don't have to really adjust the code or anything. You can just um, store that. This also be referenced in the comments. I'll go ahead and give you a link to that. So um, you may be curious about column formatting in general. It's something I do a lot. I plan to do a lot more videos about this because I have lots and lots of column and view formatting examples. Um, if you want to learn more about that, uh, the first reference you should know about is with Microsoft. They have a whole uh, reference about column and view formatting. I'll post a link to that in the comments. And then another really helpful one on GitHub, there are many, many examples in the developer community of uh, different column formatting and view formatting examples. I'll post a link to that as well. You can browse through those. And I also plan to uh, post some more videos to that as well. So that's it. Um, this is really simple to set up. Um, I use it all the time. Um, of these three things, the edit button is the thing that I use the most. Um, I go ahead and add a column for that, just about all the SharePoint lists that I do. Um, so that's pretty much what we wanted to cover here in this video. So hopefully that gives you some good ideas about um, column formatting. There's lots of things we can do with that. I've posted some links to some references of things where you can browse through examples and that kind of thing. I'm also going to be posting a lot more videos because I have uh, dozens of different examples of different things I've done with column and view formatting. And it's just a great way to make SharePoint look really good. So in this video, we looked at how to add three different types of special columns. The edit button column, the view button column, and then also how to do a document thumbnail. I hope you found it useful. I hope you use the code samples that I provided in the comments, and I hope you uh, come back for more. And that's all we have for today.